Good morning everybody. This is Mujibur Rahman from Raghu International School. Well, in our previous videos, <coughs> we learned completely about the simple present, right? So after simple present, what did we discuss in our previous video, in our recent video was uh, types of the verbs. What are those types? <coughs> one is regular and the other one is irregular verb. So let us revise this regular and irregular in a brief manner once. So what is a regular and I asked you to uh, write some of the regular verbs and some of the irregular verbs. I think uh, I do remember the number. Uh, I have given you around 50, right? 50 as homework, 50 for regular, 50 for irregular. I hope everyone has done this. Next, now we have understood clearly what is regular and what is irregular verb. So, we need this regular and uh, irregular, we need the differ between regular and irregular just because to get into the simple past because in the simple past tense, we use the simple past form of the verb in the positive answer, right? So there, we should not get confused, okay? For an example, uh, we need to use the simple past form of the verb in the positive answer in the simple past, right? There, for an example, if you take sleep, sleep is a irregular verb. So, uh, if you don't know the difference between uh, regular and irregular, there you may have uh, written slept, okay? In instead of slept, you may have uh, uh, written sleep and something else, okay? So, if you know the definition and uh, difference between regular and irregular, so immediately something strikes to your mind like you know regular verbs uh, they do not end sorry irregular verbs do not end with d r e d they change their spelling as well as the pronunciation when you change them into the simple past that uh, that definition comes to your mind immediately when you deal with irregular verbs right so that is the reason we learnt and discussed <coughs> irregular and regular verbs in our previous video in this video, we are going to uh, get in the simple past, right? So, we have learnt completely about the present simple and now we are going to talk about the simple past. <coughs> so, what is this simple past? Okay, this is the tense and when do we use this? How do we use this? So, in order, one by one, I have written, let us look at this. First one. <coughs> Usually, uh, which form of the verb that we have to use in the simple past, let us know first. So, in the simple past, which form of the verb do we have to use usually? So, we use, see even question I have written there, which form of the verb do we use in the simple past? Okay, that is a question. Now, <coughs> let us answer what form actually that we have to use in the simple past answer we have written there we use the simple past form of the verb in the simple past which form of the verb do we use we use the simple past form of the verb in the simple past tense <coughs> examples even i have written okay what are the examples some of the examples i have written like wrote is an irregular verb again you may easily identify because it doesn't end with dred <coughs> and gave is also irregular, drank is also irregular, next sang is also irregular verb. So, etc. Still there are many irregular verbs. I mean, uh, uh, we have written here the simple past form of the verbs as example. As we have uh, said here that we use the simple past form of the verb in the simple present, sorry, in the simple past. So, these are the examples that we have written. Right. <coughs> next. So, as soon as we have got to know, we use the simple past form of the verb in the simple past. Next, what we have to get to know is, so which are the helping verbs, okay, that we use in the simple past. In the present simple, uh, we have got to know that we use do and does are as helping verbs, okay, do and does as helping verbs in the simple present, right. Here. <coughs> we have to uh, 
uh, get to know which form of the sorry which helping verb which auxiliary verb that we use in the simple past so even answer we have written here we use only one auxiliary verb so here we have specified in the simple past we use only one auxiliary so when you take the present simple there we use two auxiliary verbs right one is do and the other one is does right we learnt in the <coughs> previous videos all about the simple past right there we have two helping verbs here <coughs> we have only one auxiliary so let us know what is that one auxiliary in the simple past we use only one auxiliary in the simple past that is date what is that auxiliary that we use in the simple past we use in the simple past okay did auxiliary did as a auxiliary verb in the simple past so have you understood till here now we have got to know which form of the verb that we use in the simple past is the simple past form of the verb we use in the positive sentence and uh, which helping verb which or else which auxiliary verb that we use in the simple past is we use only one auxiliary in the simple past that is did okay <clears throat> after this all next what should we get to know is we have to get to know <coughs> when do we use the simple past okay we have understood which helping verb do we use and as well as we have understood next uh, which auxiliary do we use in the simple past and afterwards which we have to get to know is we have to understand clearly that when do we use the simple past tense that the definition we have written here already that is when we talk about the action okay whatever the action when we talk about them uh, which is which started and completed in the past okay understand clearly here which action do we talk about here when we talk about the action which completed started and completed in the past itself we have no connection with now we don't have any connection with now it started and completed in the past completely we don't know when it started when it completed but it completely had done then we can use the simple past when we talk about such type of activities such type of things when we did in the past when we want to talk about those things we have to tell them in only the simple past right i hope everyone has understood the exam uh, definition once again let us get to know this when we talk about the action that started and completed in the past then we use the simple past and the keywords also i have written here so by looking at these keywords in the end of the sentence you can easily identify that the particular sentence is in the simple past okay uh, these keywords these sentences usually end with these keywords in the simple past tense so by looking at these keywords even you may find out okay the uh, certain sentence is in the simple past what are the keywords let us see these keywords are yesterday last evening last week last year okay etc okay see here uh, these are the some of the keywords usually we use when we talk about the simple past tense i hope everyone has understood till here as of now once uh, let us revise this briefly first what did we understand we understood that uh, which form of the verb that we use examples we have got here i have written four to five examples afterwards uh, which auxiliary do we use in the simple past that we have got that we use only one auxiliary that is did in the simple past afterwards uh, next we need to get to know when do we actually use that simple past tense right in, uh, in our previous video we understood clearly when do we use the simple present right there are four or five uh, certain situations when we talk about them then we use the present simple in the same way here uh, when we talk about this situation we use only the simple past i hope everything <coughs> clear till here <clears throat> so please make a note of this before we get into the <clears throat> next move okay have a note of it <clears throat>